Hello my beautiful love goods and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am recreating another real tiny house. So uh, if you see in the thumbnail, I'll also leave a link in the description down below to the pin that I found on Pinterest. Uh, this is a micro house and it is just this little tiny little house that is in the desert and I really liked the shape and the simplicity of it because it was really just one room and it was yeah it's a cute little house um, obviously I did use the full 32 tiles not for the floor plan but simply so that I could have a roof that was flat so yeah that's that's the thing but it's still a micro house and um, if you wanted to you know download this and maybe you want to extend it and still keep it a micro house you can easily do that by just removing the trim or not the trim but the platform that's on top of the house um, I just did that so that I could have like a proper you know shaped house I, I i don't know how to describe it but yeah uh it's a, a cute little house on a 30 by 20 lot in oasis springs i recently talked about how i didn't really like building tiny homes on anything other than 20 by 15s but uh i thought i would try out building in one of these lots and uh you know obviously there's a lot of space but i think it works in oasis springs if you have a little bit of empty space it's just because you know that's part of the desert you know there's some empty spaces here and there so yeah i really like how this came out uh, it was just a simple quick little build uh, I just it, it was a little bit of an experiment too because um, I wasn't sure if I could actually get everything to fit in here properly and in the beginning of the uh, interior I actually forgot about the bathroom and I needed to uh, go in and figure out where to place it so you'll see me struggle there for a little bit but yeah it, it was a fun little build nonetheless anyways this is only for a single sim so it's gonna be kind of hard for a couple to live here uh, but uh, it's a cute little house and I see it being uh, a very good house to expand upon um, there is just a single bed and a one tile bathroom yes that is possible to have a one tile bathroom I used the shower from snowy escape as well as just a base game uh, like toilet and uh, it worked pretty well actually and it was fully functional I player tested it and everything so initially you see me planning everything out I was like oh yeah this house is gonna be great but then I forgot the bathroom which theoretically I could have just placed the woohoo bush and uh, also an outdoor shower and then it would have been just fine uh, but you know that's not very realistic is it I mean I don't know though you could probably have taken like a roof piece and placed it outside and put a toilet and shower in there and that could have been the bathroom you know, you know what that's not a bad idea but you know that's that's not practical or realistic is it I mean maybe it is but you know I wouldn't want to do that in the Sims but uh, and I also tried to use a little bit of the new content that we received in a recent patch to the base game um, really it was just uh, one item <laughs> it was that uh, dresser there from uh, is it a dresser is it a dresser I'm not really sure what you would call that but it's just a kind of cupboard wardrobe thing that uh, is created by the one and only peacemaker which I oh my gosh y'all when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. I am so incredibly excited. Like, I genuinely lost my mind. I was like, oh my god, they got Peacemaker? Oh, I'm a big Peacemaker stan. I used to use his content all the time, and I don't really use a lot of custom content as much anymore. I try to avoid using it just because I know it's not accessible to some players, but also I just get a little overwhelmed, and uh, you know, my creativity can't handle, um, you know, not having restrictions. So, I do think I removed that wardrobe, unfortunately, because I didn't really have the space for it, but can we appreciate how nice it looked while it was there? Uh, so there's the little one tile bathroom and the kitchen is fully functional. I'm pretty sure if you reconfigure it a little bit better than I did, let's be honest, um, you could have easily added in a stove, but uh, you know, I just, I was going for a specific vibe. This isn't really like a full house, I would say. This feels more like a house that you would just kind of stay in for a little bit, kind of like a B&B, &B, but it's for a single person. Um, I don't know, it's cute. I, I, I like it. It's very deserty. It fits the vibe of the Oasis Springs quite well, because I feel like Oasis Springs, there are like, 
there's like the locations where there's like really um, like nice houses, Spanish kind of Mediterranean styled houses. And it's very like, you know, it's, it's like a got a gated community and stuff like that. But here in this area is my favorite area to build in because it's deserty. It seems to be a little bit more of just like a normal like residential area. And I don't know, there's all sorts of builds that you can place here. Modern, traditional, you know, the works. It's amazing. So I didn't make this an off the grid house. I wasn't about to do that, but I did add some solar panels and some turbines on the roof just so that, you know, just so you know, it's just for the vibes, I guess, but also because, you know, you could play around with eco life, eco lifestyle a little bit there. And um, I was having trouble placing a chair here. I wanted them to have a TV at the very least. I think that's why I didn't bother adding in a, uh, like an actual stove because, you know, they can survive without it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's cute. It's pretty simple, but you know, sometimes simplicity is better than complexity. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Anyways, we need to talk about some new things in The Sims 4 currently. So they have announced and actually the day that I'm recording this voiceover, they are actually out to buy, but they have announced a new game pack style called kits, which are essentially small, like Ha they're like mini stuff packs that you can buy and uh, the new ones that they just released are um, there's one that has like some fashion wear or some like fitness wear that's like fashionable another one is called like a dust kit or something I you know what I honestly didn't pay attention to those two because they're totally irrelevant to me because I'm not buying them but but the country kitchen set y'all it looks kind of adorable i haven't really looked at it myself in game i went ahead and bought it and i'm down i've got it downloaded and i'm ready to check it out um for you all but i really like this style so far so you know, I'm going to use it quite a lot. And uh, I think that, you know, the idea of kits is, you know, pretty fun, I would say. Uh, it's like a more inexpensive way for, you know, players in The Sims to actually get true content from The Sims team themselves. Uh, themselves, yes. From the true Sims team themselves and it be, you know, fully functioning and working in the game and everything. Because I do understand people's wariness. Wariness? It's wariness, yes. Uh, I do understand people's wariness on using custom content simply because it's it isn't, you know, backed by EA. It's not something that they, you know, screened or anything. So it could easily break your game. Not easily. I wouldn't say I've had that experience, but you never know at this point because sometimes things happen. And even content creators that are really, you know, really safe and careful with making their CC, you know, they, you never know when something might break and it's not fun to deal with that. So, and also there's console players, so they don't af actually have custom content at all. So it's nice to have a little bit of some extra content without actually breaking the bank because you know ten dollars is ten dollars of course and a stuff pack is you know ten dollars but you know some someone might not even have that you know five dollars is a lot more reasonable so yeah I don't know I just I'm interested I'm not like overly excited it's not something that's revolutionary by any means but I, I am interested to see more and see what they bring to the table and how they will kind of add to the uh, longevity of the Sims 4 uh, what do you all think in the comments down below just remember to please be nice to everyone who you know might have a different opinion than yours but uh, all your opinions are totally valid let's be honest because it's a video game y'all it's a video game but anyways I hope you you all enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this uh installment of recreating a real tiny house uh and be sure to check out the link down below uh to the website where i found this and yeah that is pretty much it thank you all so so very much for watching stay weird and beware of the narkles